Hi, I'm Bob. In the previous two videos, I have shown you how to use simulation to examine the properties of OLS and IV estimation methods in the presence of endogeneity due to omitted variables. In this video, I will take a look at the properties of the OLS estimator when variables have measurement errors. It often happens, for example, instead of the actual annual income, what we have in the dataset is the reported annual income with measurement error. There are two cases of measurement errors. One is the measurement error in an explanatory variable. The other is the measurement error in the outcome variable. First, let's consider the measurement error in an explanatory variable. Suppose x star is the actual value, and x is the measure of x star. The measurement error is new. The classical errors in variables assumption is that the measurement error new is uncorrelated with the unobserved explanatory variable x star. The true relationship between the outcome variable y and the actual explanatory variable x star is that y is equal to beta times x star plus the error term mu. We can express y as a function of the observed explanatory variable x and a composite error term mu minus beta times nu. The OLS estimate of beta can be written as three terms. The probability limit of the OLS estimate of beta is beta times a ratio. The ratio is positive and always less than one. Therefore, the OLS estimate of beta is biased towards zero. It is called the attenuation bias in OLS due to the classical errors in variables. On average, the estimated OLS effect will be attenuated. Next, let me show you this property using simulation in Stata. Let's write a Stata program for one simulation, and then use the command simulate to run this program 300 times. The data generating process is as follows. We set 5,000 observations. The error term mu is randomly drawn from the standard normal distribution. The measurement error nu is also randomly distributed. The true relationship between the outcome variable y and the actual explanatory variable x star is that y is equal to 1 plus 1 times x star plus an error term mu. Keep in mind that the true parameter of the actual explanatory variable is 1. The explanatory variable we observed or collected is x, which is equal to x star plus a measurement error nu. We regress y on x using the OLS method. I call the program simu1. I run the program and find that the OLS estimate of beta is much less than the true parameter 1. Then we use the command simulate to repeat the data generating process and the OLS regression 300 times. I also set a particular seed to replicate the results. The estimates from each simulation will be stored in a new dataset. We summarize the estimates and find that the OLS estimate for the coefficient of x is less than the true parameter 1. The OLS estimate is biased towards 0. We can try other relationships between y and x star, say minus 2.
the OLS estimate is around minus one. It is also biased towards zero. Next, let's examine the OLS estimates when the outcome variable or dependent variable has a measurement error. It can be proved that the OLS estimate is unbiased, but the standard error of the estimate will become larger. Y star is the actual value. The true relationship between Y star and X is that Y star is equal to beta times x plus the error term mu. Now, we only observe and collect the variable y, which is y star plus the measurement error nu. We can rewrite y as a function of x and a composite error term. The probability limit is beta. It is unbiased because x is not correlated with the composite error term by the assumption but the variance of beta hat is larger than the case without measurement error. Let's use simulated data to verify this property. We write a program called simu2. mu, nu and x are random and normally distributed. The actual outcome variable y star is a function of x. The true parameter of x is 1 y is equal to y star plus the measurement error nu. If we can collect data on y star, we regress y star on x. But usually, we collect data on y instead of y star, so we regress y on x. I will show you that both OLS estimates are unbiased, but the one with measurement error has a larger standard error. We type the name of the program, simu2. We see that the OLS estimates are close to the true value 1. The standard error in the actual value regression is 0.014, and the standard error in the regression with measurement error is 0.020. We repeat the data generating process and regressions 300 times. The estimates are stored in variable b actual and b measure. We summarize the variables and find that both OLS estimates are unbiased. The standard errors are 0.013 versus 0.019. The regression with measurement error in the outcome variable gives a larger standard error of the coefficient. Thank you for watching this video. See you tomorrow.